MicroStation Essentials, Basic Operations of MicroStation. In this session, we're going to take a look at how to use the basic mouse features and how the mouse works inside MicroStation. We'll also take a quick look at how views work and look at some of their basic features. We want to review how tools work inside MicroStation and take a look at some of the simple concepts behind snapping, the ability to find a precision point in space. The mouse is a very important part of MicroStation since it's how you basically communicate with the software. The mouse generally we'll be working with are three button mice. There's a left mouse button, a middle mouse button or a wheel, and a right mouse button. In fact, you can think of the left mouse button as the yes button. Yes, I want to pick a tool. Yes, I want to click on a menu item. And many other things like that. Yes, I want to place a point in space. You can think of the right mouse button as the no button. No, I do not wish to continue drawing. I want to stop drawing. I want to stop this command. So no, no more drawing. So the right mouse button will stop a command. It's the no button. So I pick up the delete command here and I click with the left mouse button and that says, yes, I want to delete this element. You can use the middle mouse button as a wheel. By spinning the wheel away from you, you can zoom in. By spinning the wheel towards you, you can zoom out. By double clicking the wheel, using the wheel as a button, it will fit your view. It'll fit the graphics on the screen to the current view size that you have. These are similar to the tools found in the view toolbar here, such as zoom in, zoom out, and fit view. There's many other things you can do with the, uh, with the <clears throat> mouse buttons by using the control key, the alt key, or the shift key. For example, if I do a control right mouse button, uh, alt right mouse button, using the alt key on the keyboard and pressing the right mouse button on an element, I can get a general inf set of information on the element that I alt right clicked on. So in this case, if we're looking at a complex shape. It's on a level boundary. It's color three or red. It has a line style seven, a weight of three, and some other information is also presented here. As soon as I pull out of this window, it disappears. So it's, uh, it closes itself. So left mouse button is a yes mouse button. The right mouse button is a no button. And the wheel can be used for zooming out or zooming in, or by double clicking, you can fit all of the graphics to your view. The views are very helpful here. You have several things that you can do inside of a view. The very first icon in our view toolbar here allows us to work with view attributes. Do you want to see dimensions on the screen? Do you want to see text on the screen? Do you want to see patterns on the screen? Do you want to see line weights or line styles on the screen? Do you want elements to show as filled in as a solid element? Do you want to show transparency? So if I zoom in here, you can see there's text right here. If I come over to view attributes and turn off text, all the text elements disappear. That's just another way of controlling what you see on your screen. If I turn off the fill, all the filled, solid filled areas will now show up as just a border. Many different view attributes are available. You can also access view attributes from settings and view attributes. Remember, control B for better viewing. There are several other tools that are helpful here. One is to refresh or update your view. This will zoom in one click at a time. This one will zoom out one click at a time. This is the window area command. And the window area command allows you to draw a window around an area of interest. The fit view will fit your view. It's like double clicking the middle mouse button or the wheel. This will fit all of the graphics to the view. In 2D, you can rotate the view about the z-axis, so somewhat helpful, but 
easily. Not that important in 2D. Much more important in 3D. There's your pan command. This allows you to pan back and forth. View undo or view previous will undo any view operation. So that undid the pan, that undid the rotate, and you can keep on going back through the different views that you had before. View next will take you forward through all of those views. You have the ability of copying the contents of a view to another view, clipping a view, or clip masking a view. Down in the view control toolbar here are your view toggles, and the view toggles allow you to turn on additional views. So I'm going to open up four views, then I'm going to go up to window and tile them. Now notice it's four views basically of the same thing. In these views I have my little uh, image turned on telling me what's going on, and I can turn those off if I wanted to. So now they all show me the same thing. This allows me to zoom in into different areas of the drawing. And what's interesting in MicroStation is you can draw from one view to another view. So let's choose a color here and make it really thick so that we can see it. But there you go. Now if I fit my view, you can see I drew that heavy, uh, heavy magenta line without having to really draw from all the way across the graphics, I drew from view to view. You can always maximize a view, or minimize a view, or close a view by directly clicking on the X. The same thing as turning the toggles on and off. So views are very powerful in MicroStation. They're completely independent of each other. They can show different things. One view may show fill items, another view may not. So I can have different view attributes in each view. So this one does not have the fill view attribute turned on. Now it is turned on. So views are independent and can show different things depending on your specific needs at the time. Snapping is an important part of MicroStation. Snapping allows you to go from a position point to another position point. For example, if I wanted to draw from the end point of this line to the end point of another line, then I can use snapping. Now, snapping is automatic in MicroStation. You notice that all I needed to do was get close to that end point, and I get a heavy yellow X. There's also a little icon there. It looks like a little curve or an arc with three dots on it. That's telling me what type of snap mode I'm using right now. And this is called the key point snap mode. It'll find endpoints and midpoints depending on how you set it up, but basically endpoints. So I found the endpoint there. I know I found the endpoint because of the heavy yellow X. I know I found the endpoint because of the heavy yellow X. There are many different types of snap modes available in MicroStation, and there are quite a large list of snap modes. So we were just using key point, but you can see there's midpoint, center, intersections, tangents, perpendiculars, and you can run multiple snap modes at one time if you want to. Snapping, very helpful inside MicroStation. Works rather easy, rather quickly, without much trouble. So, to review. Basic mouse operations, you want to use the mouse wheel to zoom in or zoom out. Double click to fit your view. Oh, here's a new one. Single click to pan. Single click the middle mouse button to pan. The left mouse button is the yes button. The right mouse button is the no or cancel button. Practice your views. Those are very important and are very helpful to work with. So it's important that if you're a new MicroStation user that you spend at least two to three minutes at the beginning of every session practicing zooming in, zooming out, opening views, closing views. It's the best way to learn how to use the application is to practice and understand how to use the views effectively at the very beginning. 
working with tools, you want to make sure that you pick up a, the, the right tool at the right time by using the right task. So pick the tool, choose your settings, that means choose your attributes such as uh, level, color, style, and weight. Then choose your tool settings, you want to draw lines or arcs in this case, and then read your prompt. Pick your tool, choose your settings such as attributes, choose your tool settings, read your prompt, then start to draw.